One of the tools that God gave us to heal and recover is community. He's only mentioned this 10,000 times in his word. And I know it borne out in my life. So earlier this year, when I was, I promise you, hanging on by a thread, and that is not a joke at all. I wasn't sleeping, I wasn't eating, I was barely breathing. I begged my mom, I had a couple of events left on my calendar, and then I had a season off. I said, Mom, I need you to cancel your plans and travel with me. I cannot go out in the world by myself. I need you to just be with me, never leave my side. I want you to sleep in my bed. That's how fragile I was. So rattled. I couldn't even imagine walking through an airport by myself on a particularly awful day, and I don't know how she knew, I'm just gonna say it was God. My um, ride or die friend, Nicole Norderman, she sent me a um, picture and a story. This is the picture, I want you to look at it. She said, I wanna tell you a story about elephants. I'm like, girl, I'm rattled here. <laughs> like, what is this? This is a weird beginning. She said, I wanna tell you something I've learned. Um, in the wild, when a mama elephant is either giving birth or she is injured, all the other female elephants in the herd back around her in formation. They close ranks so tight so that the delivering or the injured mama in the middle cannot even be seen. And then they start kicking up dirt and stomping and throwing soil to throw attackers off the scent and basically act like a pack of fierce bodyguards. So they surround this mama and potentially incoming baby in protection, sending this very clear signal to predators that if they wanna attack their friend while she is vulnerable, they're going to have to get through 40 tons of female aggression. <laughs> so then, when the baby elephant is delivered or when the injured mama is ready to stand back up. The, the sister elephants do two things. Um, number one, they, if it's a baby, they kick sand and dirt over the baby to protect its fragile skin. And then they all start trumpeting. It's this, this female celebration of, of new life and of sisterhood, of something beautiful being born in a harsh, wild world despite predators and attackers and enemies and odds, right? So Nicole sent all this to me, this picture, this story, and she said something to me. She said, Jen, we have you. You're not alone. You're never alone. exactly what we do girls when our sisters are vulnerable when they are giving birth to new life or new ideas or or new ministries or new spaces or when they are under attack when they're hurt when they need people to surround them so that they can create or deliver or heal or recover, y'all, we get in formation. We close ranks and we literally have each other's backs. And then when delivery comes, right, when our girl is ready, when new life finally makes its entrance after a dark night, when healing finally begins and she's ready to rise back up, we sound our trumpets right? We sound them because we did it and we saw it through together. And I want to tell you, you might need this picture and this story tonight. You might need this. If you're closing ranks around a vulnerable sister right now, or maybe your girls have you surrounded while you are tender, this is how we do it. We take turns in the middle we take turns in formation. We take turns being weak. We take turns being strong. I want to tell you that my friends got into hardcore formation around me this year. A lot of them are in this room. I want to tell you that as I am standing here, my time in the middle is over. It is. It is. 
my people closed ranks and they refused to budge until I could stand again. And they um, also stomped and kicked up a lot of dirt on my behalf and I don't know how they have any friends left. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> so fierce. They saw me through the most fragile season of my life and I'll never forget it as long as I live. May you find your tribe. Surround them and surround yourself with them. And join this chorus that women have been singing through the ages because there is no community like a community of women. So I want you to hear me say this tonight. No matter how fragile you are right now, you are going to make it. You are going to survive. And we are going to do it together. Because guess what? You're still breathing. You're still standing. You're still alive. And you, will, you are still here. So that means your story's not over.